Okay, TikTok. We're just waiting for Lee to go live. I'm all good. I'm doing? all good. We're oh, ready to go. Oh. Inspiration Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp, Jose Neuer, once again here for Inspiration Nation. We are live on TikTok and on YouTube. Just search us out to join us. Jose, you are up this week, though. Have you yep. got a quote for I us do. to discuss? Right. This is a quote from Rocky Balboa. And I'm going to just read it out to you. It is, let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me or nobody is going to hit harder than life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. I absolutely love that quote. And the reason I love that quote is because life will kick you in the balls. I've, I've, I've referenced this before, but this is what this podcast is about. This podcast is your preparation. All the stuff we've talked about up to, this is to say 228, if I correctly, correctly got you that. Are right, quite, you are correctly, correctly, correctly about that, yes. All right. So we've been doing this for four and a half years. There or thereabouts. Like and through that time, we have all evolved. Ryan, Lee, myself, and we're preparing because life has really some great ups. I mean, it really does, but life will absolutely beat you as well. And it's about how you handle those moments. And we've shared in the podcast what our challenges have been. I've shared, for me instance, I've shared my mental health. I've shared my mum passing away. I've shared career challenges. And amongst other things, right? Arguments with family. So you don't know when this is going to happen. And this is why I love this quote. You don't know when life is going to deal with you. Something. You could wake up tomorrow and suddenly something happens. So with your health, a family member, you don't know. One day I woke up and my mum was no longer with me. That is where life kicks you hard. But what are you going to do to respond to that? And we talked about this before, about respond and react. I prefer to respond. First of all, I will react. So my mum passed away, I reacted, I was sad. And I still am sad. And I, what, what I do to keep that alive, I just, I, I'm just, I'm grateful that I've still got all those lovely memories from my mum. And I, and I think about when good things happen, I say, thanks, mum. I always say, and I know when I walk, I say, thanks, mum. And that's my way of accepting all this. And again, on mental health, when that happened, you know, I could have, I didn't want to be here, but luckily I found something inside me that I could just keep moving forward. And that's why I love this quote. That's why I love Rocky Balboa. I know it's a fictitious character, but actually Sylvester Stallone, when you hear him talk, he's quite an inspirational character himself because he was a, he, he wrote Rocky. Rocky was turned down by so many people, but he kept moving forward. And now you look at what's been created. Okay, you've got Rocky. My favorites are Rocky's one to four, right? They're the, they're the ones I love, you're, but you've got, Five, six, isn't it? You've got Rocky Balboa, you've got Creed off the back of this now. I think there's Creed 3 is coming out. But this for me is what testaments to people is that people look at how you can move forward when you get hit hard, whether that's in your work life, in your personal life. But how can you just keep moving forward? And yes, we need help. Of course we do. I've got help with my mental health, through counseling, all that sort of stuff. But you've got to reach out and do it. Get it? No one's going to have, no one can, like, dealing with the, you know, a person passing dear to you and your family, mental health, the career challenge. No one can do that work for you. You have to find a way to move forward using the help around you. And that's what I want. This is why I love this podcast, right? Because through sharing all this, all the, all the, all the, all the failings that we have and the challenge we have, we want to inspire you to know that you can also move forward. No matter what happens. When I look at and I went to visit last week, or just a minute ago, because we've done two in a row, right? <laughs> Victor Frankl, and how he kept moving forward despite being in a concentration camp, still found purpose. And these are things I love, and that's why I've done from Rocky Balboa, because it was, it, I know there's going to be times when I'm going to wake up again in life at some point, and something's going to happen, and it's going to be really hard. But this is the training, this preparation, this planning, this you know, working on 
last week we talked about materialism trying to like not be so materialistic trying to be grateful what we have enjoying the moment like lee was talking about being present you know enjoying moments like my daughter's graduation enjoying that moment because we never know and stoics talk about this a lot we never know when our end's going to come personally we don't know it's going to, we don't know what's going to happen we don't know when we're speaking to loved ones or we don't know if it's going to be the last time we don't know whether lee and i might be the last time we speak we don't know tomorrow who knows what's going to happen right that's why I'm loving this podcast right now, enjoying it right now, because I don't know what life's going to deal up. But this is all the practice, it's the preparation, knowing that things are going to happen. But let's do the work. Let's let's get our values in order. Let's 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 work on purpose. Let's let's find out what our purpose, what we're here to do. I know what mine is. Mine's working on coaching stuff like that. So work on purpose. Live each day, almost like it's your last day. Look for that lens. We talked about it, five regrets of dying. Right? Go back on the episodes. Look at. What, listen to those and watch those episodes. It will really get you focused on looking through that lens about you know, life going to hit you. It may not be your death, right? It could be something else quite. It could be an illness, whatever, right? That's what we're talking about. So this is why I love this quote, because you know what life's going to hit you with. So Lee, I'm passing the ball to you. I know I've gone on a bit of a rant there. I mean, I was, you I gave me an in to make a joke when you said that it might be the last time we speak that I could make some I knew, I thought you might say something. You rambled on oh. so much that it's just lost all context now. That's the secret. This is how I you did beat. It, I did it. I did it. I got through a rant without Lee going, yeah, but doing some sort of uh, quip. But actually, I know when Lee does that, he really cares for me. He loves me when he does that. It's his, it's a, it's his love language. Well, just for what he does I'm not it. sure I meant that when I said it. We'll have to restrict. restrict Again, the, there it is. There's a love language. The there it is. There it is. Also, I didn't. I didn't know fictional characters were in scope. This opens up a whole new world for me. Of course, it's, it's whatever inspires, right? Yeah, There's no I'm rule. Start, I, I even that, that's interesting. You made that rule up for yourself in my it? head, just building it. Yeah, up, yeah. So you're that. I, don't I love need. that. Yeah. Go on. Sorry. No, it's good. I like it. So, what, what's your? Because it was. It was a long. Not that it's a bad thing. It's a long quote. What's your? For you, what's the key resonating message that you take from that overall? Is it is it the perseverance part, the training part? Keep moving forward, like irrespective. Life's going to hit you really hard, like, and I agree that life hits you harder than anybody else, like anything else. You know, you just in in different ways as well, like in ways you not expect, you don't expect. I think that because like you just don't expect sometimes, and you just bang, and that's what I love about it. It's like how do you respond because that builds a character it's like how you respond to that is where you are in your growth yeah uh, so for me it's just that it's about how you just keep moving forward because he talked about you know the world's not show- sometimes the world is sunshine right sometimes you get some really happy moments it's not but he says it says it's not all sunshine and rainbows which is really accurate because you get good moments but you get some really hard moments too it, that's what life's they call it life's a tapestry i love that and it is it's very true but you, you get the suffering as well as the, the great times. But that's that's what that, I've asked a bit long. But the, the, the key for me is moving forward. No, I, well, I think it makes me think of, or it, it, it aligns with in my head, is this, that I've referenced it a few times. I've seen this picture where it's like a graph and it's high point, low point, medium point, you know, lo, lo, like a line graph with loads of different peaks and troughs. But at the point of every peak, no matter whether it's a really high one or low one, it says you're best. And the underlying message is every day you're, you know, it's the your best every day might not be I'm trying to think how to word it but it's it's not consistent you know some days you you're um, building a skyscraper and some days you're just getting out of bed but wherever that bar is whatever if you put the effort in you and I'll use it for myself is some some days you just can't do as much as you did the day before you still put your best and you just you I use that as a method to keep going because sometimes you get 50% of the job done and some days you get 3% of the job done but that 3% is still moving forward and that's that's why it resonates with me that it isn't you know for whatever reason you might be really tired you might be worn down there might be challenges you weren't expecting you know if you don't beat yourself up because you're not at this constant high level of consistency there's loads of things that come in and bash it but the underlying message in that which is what you said there is is to keep moving forward don't don't stop don't go backwards whether it's yeah 80 percent or one percent just keep pushing ahead and i when i'm having those days where it is a lower, I'm lower on that graph. I, that really sticks in my head to kind of keep my motivation going. Yeah, I love that because it's about effort, isn't it? Yeah. But it's a different sort of effort. Like, and this is what I said to my daughter. I said, they graduated and I said, irrespective of the result, 
Like, and they and actually, it's before I was going to say, let's result. shout out that they got a fantastic result, Joe. So oh, on oh, top oh, of that, <laughs> like literally, they got a, they got a first class honours degree, like in forensic psychology, no less. Right? I'm really like this is like for me, this is super impressive. Like, just I don't it blows me away, and I really hope they listen to this. They may not though, but I'd love it if they listen. To it. <laughs> um, maybe later. Um, but I always I always said to said, said to my said to my daughter, I said. It's not about the degree. Of course, it's lovely. You got a first. I'm really super, super pumped about that. But what I really admire about what you did was the effort you put in. You know, the process of holding down a job, doing a really difficult degree, and going for some really challenging things in her life as well, and still coming out and getting through it. Um, and I wanted to rec wanted her to, to, to recognise her effort. And that was her best. And I said, well, all the things I always encourage people to say. As long as you're doing your best, as long as you can say to yourself at the end of the end of the day, and you're, you go to bed and you sleep, put your head on that pillow, and you said you've given your absolute best. And like you said about the grass, right? It might be something really ha something's hard to happen, but you've just done a little bit. You've you've done as much as you can. You've put your best, and you know in your heart of hearts, you put every single piece of effort into whatever you've done. That's that's it. That's the most important piece. Yeah. Not the result. Not what we talked about before. It's the effort. Yes. That is what the key is. That's what builds the character. Now you may do things, you fail, you may fail a lot, but if you persist, you will get better slowly at whatever it is, right? And whatever it is, whatever you want to achieve, I'm not saying you might be world class, but what you will do is you will improve. You will, but provided you, you, you search yourself and say, have I given my best today? If the answer is yes, and you couldn't have done anything more, that's all that needs to be done. That's it, that's it. And no matter what's happening in your life, if you're doing that, if you're so in mental health and you've literally I know when I had depression, I didn't want to get out of bed. The fact, just getting out of bed and brushing your teeth, that's the best. If, that, if, if you ask yourself, if I've done it, yes, I have, then that's enough. Absolutely. It's still moving forward, back to the message you said that. And you, you, were, you were thinking about not doing, getting out of bed. The fact that you got out of bed against the thing, your brain says, stay in bed, stay in bed, and you went against it and got out of bed because you're suffering in it. That for you is a win. And I think recognising that is so important. Anyway, go on. I'm going to say this. No, I agree. And I... What you said about the effort thing, I think the biggest thing that I would say I've learned from you, or and it sticks in my head because it's I think it's the biggest mindset change I've done in the time we're doing the podcast, is the first time you talked about it's about the journey, not the outcome or the destination. I was, in my, I'm like, I don't think I agree with that. I really don't think I, I think we even talked about it at a time. And I'm like, I live by that now. I completely get and understand and buy into that and know why that's important. And I think where you said about, you know, the, the, and the result was there, but the result is there because of the effort. And actually that same effort, level of effort might be there regardless of the result for any number of external factors. And it is, it is about the journey. And I think back to what we were even talking about last week, five minutes ago in real life, but last week for podcast <laughs> recording continuity. Again, it's about, it is about, being in the moment and you've you've got to appreciate the journey for that to be the case it doesn't mean you don't have a direction but there's there's a lot to be be had along the way and i think you lose sight of that if you're not back to the bit again just moving forward what are those little steps what are you doing right now what can you appreciate in that moment i think all of that's really important yeah well it's, it's that self-checking piece right remember you know every you know, everybody's different right so it's just about sense checking and going have I given my best? And if you've, if you've left something on the table, that's when you think, oh, I could have done a bit more. That's when that improvement needs to come and you, ha you could have done a little bit more. That's what's important. But you need to be, oh, the only person who knows this, this is important, but the only person who knows when you're giving you everything is you. you Lee could say, to, I could say to Lee, if Lee asked me the question, go, have you given me your best today? I could say, yeah. And I, and I could be lying, but I'm only lying to myself. Yes. Right. I can still say yes, but I know I. You still say that, right? You can still say, but you've got to check yourself. Have I? No, I haven't really. Right. I need to tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, I need to give my best. Whatever it is, I need to start tomorrow. So that's what I'm asking in podcast. Whatever it is you're aiming for, just give your best. And you may not get the result, but you'll be better. You'll you'll get one percent better and get better and better. I've known people that someone is like going past their driving test and they've had it seven times, and they've given up on that eighth time. They've literally cut the percentage away if they persisted and continued i really believe they would have achieved it oh absolutely yeah. and that's where i think we all fall down a little bit we all get discouraged but don't be discouraged just continue and persist because and know 
and make sure you check in say have you given your best and then if you do those two things you'll see differences starting to happen now look hands on heart i can say you i don't i don't always give my best right i've got to, you know, i'd love to say every single day i do it but i'm a human being and i know these things distract me but that's that's the work right that's that's the work it's recognizing oh i didn't do it this today all right i need to make sure tomorrow i give everything so you know, when i deliver coaching i would give my best everything in it and so you know when i give that i do believe i'll give my best today i really i'm a heart heart so i can say to myself i did deliver today and that's really what you can do but no one else will know that only you will know you can you can tell people that i did it i did i did but you know only you know the real real answer and that's the work you have got to be that you've got to be the check yourself checker so you can tell anybody no one can anyone, no one's ever gonna find out the only people that you know and that's the thing that undermines your character and if you keep lying to yourself that's the issue that's when you'll start to go you'll start to your effort will start to dissipate because you'll say oh i'm not going to bother I, I could say that and i'm getting away with it you don't really get away with it at all because you're cheating yourself and that's the hard thing to understand that because you think you might go like I tell people, I'll give my best, but you really haven't given your best. And that's where the work is. You need to recognize that and say, well, I need to give my best. And then that's when things will start to change. If things aren't changing because of things like that. But anyway, sorry, I've got a bit of rant there. No, no, it's that's really... good. That's a good summing up place, I think, on that. I do do yeah. my shilling, Joe, before you, no before you start going again. So <laughs> like what we're doing, support us, follow us on Twitter, at listen to I-N, listen T-O-I-N, like, retweet, leave comments, all of that really, really supports us. Wherever you are watching or listening, hit subscribe. That is the most important thing. That really helps us with the algorithms. If you leave a review, if you want to hit the five-star button, that all helps as well. And if you are on TikTok or YouTube, if you follow us, you will get notified when we go live each and every week. You can get involved in the podcast as it happens and if you're not on there already just search for jose noy inspiration nation on those platforms and you can follow and or subscribe and of course head over inspirationnation.org.uk for everything to do with the podcast just saying hi to borg just joined got um that's it tiktok here. in action stonk thank you for sticking here as well stonk i really appreciate it because you've been here for a lot listening to the podcast so thank you so much for that thanks for spending time with us really we appreciate it. it we are at what are we at my squinty eyes can't see is that two two thousand six hundred likes two point six two point six fantastic yep. we really fantastic. appreciate all of that right joe what is your takeaway from your quote well from the, the fictional one. rocky balboa it's, it is it's just it's just that moving forward i mean i found things really hard to move forward sometimes and when i when i was struggling with my mental health i didn't want to move forward i i just really struggle with it and uh, only through self development coaching that you recognize but even just doing just that one thing that you don't want to do then doing it creates momentum and it's just that moving forward just that little bit just just make that effort and it, i'll tell you you do that for you know one i talk about the one percent so i think Lee you talk about it, didn't you? One percent a day by the end of the year. What is it? I can't. Three hundred. Is it three hundred fifty-six days? Yes, yes, there are. <laughs> three hundred fifty-six percent, right? That's a lot of improvement over a year. If you did one percent improvement a day, so just make that effort. And you know, check in with yourself. That's my takeaway. It's check in with yourself. Have you given all your effort? Yes, I have. Good. That is a good one. Let's move on. But that's I'm my going. Idea. I know we don't normally steal on it, but I am going to go to keep moving forward. I think it's such an important message and something to root in your head. So that is my takeaway. Again, we appreciate everyone out there. Really do appreciate and love the support. Count us down. We're back next week. Three, two, one. Inspiration Nation. Inspiration Nation. Catch you guys later. Later. Thank you, TikTokers. You are amazing. 2.6K likes. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Join next live. You take care. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this Inspiration Nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another videos go live and don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me because those are other podcast episodes that can really help you out i really really appreciate it and lastly don't forget out to check the newsletter the link is in the description below that's where i can talk directly to you without through the youtube throughout the social because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with inspiration nation ask me questions and even give me suggestions on what you want us to talk about next so i'd love to see you in the next video so please click on those links please follow through please let's get this community building i appreciate you so until next time i'll see you in the next video inspiration nation and i'll catch you guys later